Hey guys, in this lesson we will understand what are rational functions. Rational functions are the functions that can be written in the form of a fraction. For example, any function that can be written in the form of p over q is called a rational function. So in a rational function we would have a numerator and we would have a denominator. We would be taking up four different types of rational functions. First type is reciprocal of a linear function. Reciprocal of a linear means if we have any linear function and we write it in the form of 1 over linear because linear function means it's linear over 1. When it is changed to 1 over linear or when this function is reciprocated means numerator and denominator is flipped it becomes 1 over linear. So that is called reciprocal of a linear function and it becomes a rational function. For example, if we're given a linear function 3x plus 4, its reciprocal is 1 over 3x plus 4 and 1 over 3x plus 4, we notice that is a fraction or it's p over q form. So this is called a rational function. Second we have is reciprocal of quadratic function. So if we have a quadratic function, for example, x square minus 4, x square minus 4 means x square minus 4 over 1. When we reciprocate it, it becomes 1 over x square minus 4. So this is an example of now a rational function. Third we have is linear over linear function. Example for this would be we have a linear expression as a numerator and we have a linear expression as a denominator as well. Fourth type that we would be taking up is quadratic over linear function. An example for this is, let's say we have any quadratic expression on the numerator and we have any linear expression as a denominator, then this forms a fraction, then it is called quadratic over linear type of rational function. We can have many different ways of writing rational functions. However, for this course, we just need these four types of rational functions. For all of these four types of rational functions, we would learn how to turn them into graphs. And once we turn them into graphs, then we would be writing their key characteristics as well.